Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And today we're going to be go doing the biggest, the biggest project since the beginning of this map. Right, straight to it? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I'm recording this on Monday. Uh, back to back to the previous episode, Doliki is going to be traveling on Friday and not back until Monday, so 100% straight away, forget about Mod Monday, it's probably going to be on Tuesday, as he usually misses them anyway, so nobody's going to notice. But anyway, so, uh, a project to say, a um, couple of things I want to hint... Ducks. We're gonna have ducks. Uh, we're gonna have ducks uh, doing transporting some stuff. We have a ship dock, small one. We're gonna use it. Uh, I'm building. I built. These are American houses. This is for training uh, our uh, spies into Amer in American ways. So we can have the uh, try to infiltrate if we need to the uh, good old neighbors to the west i will be uh, reconstructing some of the infrastructure here and i'm building a new hotel as well uh this is gonna be all trainings of uh, other um soviet because we are soviet republic from the other soviet republics we're gonna have the um the experts coming in and training our own spies in their ways so this is going to be kind of american style housing over here it's pretty high quality but anyway it's going to be related to you know it's under under the disguise of the tourism and this is how we're going to be transporting our people out of there our spies are going to be just the sailors transporting same old same old you know usual stuff what are we gonna tra be transporting well, usually you don't need to transport uh, anything with the boats. It would be some low, high yielding, low uh, value added products, usually like coal or even grain, which we're using almost there, all the grain, all, all the grain that we have, we're already using anyway. So that's not going to be uh, it. What are we going to go for? Where Uliki started dismantling Barstock, usually I would keep these cities as, you know, kind of cute old cities that, um, uh, old town and stuff, but every single building over here except the church was of the low quality, and I just decided to go and remove all of this. Come on, guys, remove all of this. Right, so uh, that being said, all the houses here are removed, but um, I'm going to be removing the roads, I'm going to be making an idyllic city, everything that I learned in this city, in Old Galask, we're going to be continuing with Varstok. The Varstok is going to be a new city, and I don't know if this brings you to an idea what we're going to do here. Um, no, no, I'm going to I'm gonna show you something first. So, this is the map, this is the Lublinia, or... Uh, the area of Lublin in Poland, we have, we don't have any aluminium and there's no uh, uranium, so bauxite and uranium, no. Oh, wait, uh, no at the moment, we need to research these, but that's fine, that's fine, who cares? I'm, I, I don't care about these any, uh, at the moment, so I'm gonna skip these. Coal? Yeah, there's coal in the hills, of course, low quality, up to 50%, I would say, from... That, that I can get max, but uh, we did a lot of coal. Iron is a little bit too far. It's oil. There's oil field. We already discussed this. There's an oil field across here, and uh, I'm fully intending on starting to exploit this oil. So this is going to be our goal. This is what I'm going to be doing. Now, there's a couple of things, a couple of obstacles that um, I'm encountering at the moment. First of all, uh, bridge. Bridge is going to be a little bit difficult to make just because bridges are like that. So I did a little bit of research which would be the best bridge for us. First of all, I will not allow bridges to have... Um, to have um, uh, ships pass underneath, I don't care about that at the moment. I am thinking about building a bridge 
Nah, all of this is going to be quite difficult. So what I'm going to do is uh, just build up two parallel bridges. One of them is going to be wooden bridge uh, just so we can cross the river. Uh, I think this is Feng Shui. Yeah, I think this is Feng Shui. So this bridge here is going to cost us 61 tons of boards and a little bit of concrete and, uh, and the rest of it. It's whatever. So this is what we're going to start building uh, straight away. We have a mud road going in this direction and I need a bridge here. I want to make a nice bridge. So there's two bridges that I was considering for this. One of them, uh, both of them going to be a little bit like affordable. Let's call it affordable. Affordable being uh, that it's made from something that we actually produce or we can easily produce. So let's see what Leaky is talking. What kind of nonsense Leaky is talking? What are we producing? So bridges around here are built. Arc bridge, truss bridge, uh, tide arc bridge, beam bridge. Uh, and then we have brick bridge. We have the prefab bridge, uh, wooden bridge. We have the steel slash brick bridge. So. Um, two things I did calculations how much we're gonna need main uh, main element of building these bridges would be uh, mostly it's steel not always but mostly steel so let's do a little bit of a research on this by the way unemployment is growing which is absolutely fabulous to see we're gonna need these unemployed people first of all uh, we have a new farming area that's gonna require a lot of employed people that's gonna be 150 250 750 people we only have 200 unemployed now there's not gonna be major developments around here i will not do any aggressive uh expansion but i will be building residential areas here and there uh, mostly like this these american buildings and then i have a couple of uh, higher quality buildings here on the outskirts of the city it doesn't even, even have to be in the range of the bus station but it appears that these are in the range of the bus station anyway so fine let them be there and uh, maybe i'm gonna squeeze in building an or two here or there but uh, I don't plan on getting 750 workers for this uh, for these industries. We'll see. We'll see. But um, yeah, I I'm pretty well. This is going to be uh, 150 over here, and uh, I don't think we populated these buildings fully yet. So, like these are additional people. I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to find people to work. Uh, right, so the bridges. Let's talk about the bridges. So I'm gonna build a bridge and it's gonna be a decently sized bridge. We're gonna have this wooden one that uh, eh, technically we can start straight away. Uh, let's see. Let's see like uh, so. Uh, I intentionally separated this one from everything else. So I'm just gonna assign it like this so they can start building it. Uh, why is this so? Because I'm gonna be using a lot of gravel. Uh, to gravel the roads across the bridges, maybe even asphalt. We'll see what what uh, what the best thing is. Let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions. Gravel road versus uh, asphalt road. Initially, it's going to be just for servicing the oil pumps. Uh, talking about the oil pumps, I think I started just now, a few moments ago. Whoa, that's not a few moments ago, but definitely we are progressing this way faster than I expected. Let's go like this. Um, I slow down the education of college education of our people. So we are down to 27% at the moment. I think I'm gonna uh, at 25%. I think I'm gonna give them a little bit more education. But I hope I'm kind of hoping that loyalty is gonna go up or that the loyalty is being affected by the new people who, who are out. Anyway, bridges, bridges, bridges. So we have the I'm already doing this research, so refining is going to be eventually done. But it's not refining that I'm up to. Uh, I'm I'm aiming at. I'm aiming at the uh, fossil fuel industry. It's just the pump jacks, pump jacks, and uh, here we go. Four percent. You can see here, fifteen percent. Wow, is this what you're going to give me, Robs? Seriously, Robs with his sneaky maps. Uh, how do I over? Ah, there we go. Yeah, you can see here, 20%, 30%, there we go, now we're cooking with gas. Whoa, 37, oh, 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 that was a good one, I need a cigar. 38% quality of oil here. 
there is quite uh, some some oil over here as well i i will try to squeeze i will place the pump jacks um as i see fit we're gonna have the infrastructure for loading of the ships and we're gonna be exporting a lot of this crude oil we will be refining something for ourselves but that's gonna come later now let's plan these uh, magical roads that everybody's talking about these guys are gonna be building this bridge so let's plan for the roads all right so i want a bridge it doesn't have to be navigable underneath so I'm fine with uh, it being um, uh, brick a bridge as well but let, let's talk about this so we're gonna go for a bridge here just uh, well, let's say one dot away from here is it this one or this one I think it's this one here and I think it needs to go here 715 tons of bricks uh, most of most of the other stuff is should be the same 139 tons of asphalt and 144 tons of concrete uh, so 715 tons of bricks so let's go for the next one arc bridge arc bridge what are you built of out of uh, i think that that should be here 139 tons of uh, to, to, to concrete a little bit less concrete 75 tons of steel you see the how it's more colorful but the, the other one is a brick one no steel required whatsoever which is kind of good because uh i can build bricks we can start our brick industry now uh some of the uh steel i cannot uh we have some recycled steel but uh, we're not recycling enough steel to, for to make it work but i think it's gonna be a lot of uh, other stuff this one is similar to 150 tons of bricks so i did a little bit of calc oh wait right, 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 right. Uh, there's one other one uh i think it's this one is it? yeah that's the one this is the one uh this one requires um 1219 tons of concrete i already did a little bit of calculations for this amount of concrete we're gonna need 1200 tons of concrete it's gonna be like um uh, two-thirds of this times 10 <clears throat> excuse me uh, 20 times this i think is it 20 times uh 10 times no uh seven times this seven times this seven times cement as well seven times 700 seven times 49 uh, yeah so around seven times will be seven times 30 tons of cement <coughs> Uh, how much is that? Uh, cement, uh, sorry, 7 times 30 tons, that's 210 tons of cement. Now, uh, 750 tons of bricks versus 700 tons of uh, cement. Sorry, 750 tons of bricks versus 210 tons of cement. If we go and check, the prices of bricks are 36 rubles per ton. Uh, 750 but cement is the same price it's quite similar price in 200 tons versus uh, 700 tons now the, the thing is that with the bricks I wouldn't be importing them I would be making them and making bricks would require let's do the calculation there so we have a uh, where the construction industries it should be here wood gravel demolition construction wait well, what am i missing here uh rail construction demolition cement concrete pre prefab here we go bricks i need 750 tons of bricks that would be uh to 500 tons of coal and then we have coal how much coal costs if we go to prices coal is half the price but we need 500 tons of it so yeah looks like the cement and concrete would be the the cheapest way to go import cement um and get concrete from uh, uh from from our own production so this seems to be the best way to go um i was hoping to go for bricks but um you know what i'll plan this now i will not construct it now i'll have to record the further episodes before you guys can vote on this so i was thi I'm, I'm thinking that i'm gonna go for a brick bridge would be nice Let, let's see how it, it look uh, 
and I'm not considering steel because um, well, let's just check this one out let's check a couple of steel bridges here so uh, that's fine a little bit longer than usual but 139 it's 90 90 tons of steel and still requires like one third of the bricks that would be the red one um, and let's go for this one as well 139 165 um, 165 tons of bricks uh, and uh, 92 tons of steel uh, steel is a pricey one so if we go for the prices of steel uh, hmm 90 10 times yeah i still think think importing cement and making it out of concrete would be the most um uh, the most viable option for us so yeah i'm thinking of going for that build beam bridge what do we say beam bridges again uh, made of uh, oh nope go away beam bridge concrete okay and the other one here is arc bridge yeah this one has steel arc bridge has everything actually and now a little bit of concrete but um 250 tons of bricks no okay let's go for the cheaper option just because we're developing and we're cheap skates we're gonna go for the uh, concrete uh, bridge 139 tons we're making a lot of stuff ourselves please 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 be feng shui because if it's angled or something i'm just gonna hang myself because that's gonna be horrible um okay there we go uh that's done varstok is being dismantled ever so slowly and our vehicles are recycling everything church is the only thing that's gonna be uh, standing in the end which is fine and uh, I will just place the roads further south from here. Let's see how far we can go. Doesn't matter. Ooh, two kilometers all the way here. Uh, Piedinsk, it's a little bit further from Piedinsk. That's fine. How far is it from the border crossing? Do we cut any corners? Nah, not really. Uh, but yeah, l let's see where the where the oil is. How do I make th this? Is one of the things that uh, Three Division didn't do right, at least in my book here, that that you cannot uh, make the oil uh, show or or the resources show on the ground when you're trying to plan exploit them. So let's try like this. Mm, Feng Shui form over function north south. That in this case east west. Let's, let's plonk it in the middle. Uh, let's try to put a roads in this direction. 17%, 16, 15, 17%. Plonk, you're done. Uh, 6, 7%. Again, it doesn't really... M yeah, actually, it matters here. Ooh, this one is going right through the oil field. That's unfortunate. Well, let's see how it looks. Well, son of a gun. Um... Yeah, this one is going directly through the oil field, and only a little bit is on the right-hand side. Okay, at least we know. At least we know. Uh, let's put it Feng Shui again. Choop. Looks like it is. Uh, let's remove that. Uh, zero percent. Two. Oh, here we go. The good stuff. Twenty twenty-one. I think I would like to do it this way. Like this. Uh, we're gonna have to be a little bit tricky. Tricky here. Uh, let's do it this way. Like this. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. Uh, and here, it's kind of influenced by the the other one. It's still gonna be tricky to connect all of these because we're gonna have to have pumping stations. But bear in mind that we're gonna need to have extensive, like, uh, quality fire department around here because this is not gonna look good. 
if it catches on fire. Okay, and this is probably the end of the oil field. At least all of these are... Uh, this one can be better. Let's choose better. Actually, can it be better? Yeah, definitely can. There was 19% showing. I saw... Uh, here we go. Okay, th that's not bad. What about here? 18 and 20%. We still need to overlap it decently. Now, bear in mind, I'm just planning. <coughs> excuse me. I'm just planning this, and uh, I'm going to be building it one by one as we need it uh, because uh, I need to pace myself. This is going to be an expensive project. 32%, uh, that's a rich one. 27, 28, 29, but I need to be realistic because I don't want to miss pieces of the field. Okay, I think that they... Ooh, that's a good one as well. Uh, so something like this, 25. Here we go. Anything I missed? Oh, a little bit here. Whoa, 30%. Uh, sure, sure, I'll take it. Okay, this looks like it's it. So, what I'm gonna be doing, obviously, you probably got it by now, I'm gonna be exporting crude oil with ships. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Now, bear in mind that I will be processing some of this oil for our own needs. So, there's gonna be, a, uh, let's see, the loading terminal. Do we have this? So, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of... Uh, oil tanks here but i need a loading terminal i think it should be here pumping harbor son of a gun this is huge i really don't like this oh boy yeah this is gonna be tricky this is gonna be fun um i mean like we can put it here but that's not the point uh this is too far I think... Oh, actually, is it? Well, this is for pumping harbor. This is not for... Can we even do it on this side? I mean, technically we can, right? The, uh, like, like um, uh, I, I'm just thinking about... This is just for exports of the crude oil. I'm not going to be exporting much more for, with this. Does this generate any pollution? Because it kind of should. <laughs> uh, no. But uh, why the hell not? Why wouldn't I build a pipeline across the river and then uh, do it here? It's going to be a longer pipeline. Uh, and then the refinery can be somewhere earlier. So, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. And uh, do I need to build a bridge again? Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Well, actually, why do I need a bridge then? If I place it over here... Uh, seriously, there's no free excavator all the way here? Bastards. Wait, wait, are we seriously out of excavators because I'm constructing stuff? No, they're not in range here. Wow. Okay, whatever, man. Mm, can we do it uh, old-fashioned way? Oh, seriously? We're actually at the range here? Um, sure. Okay, you know what? Let's see what you guys think about this. If we're going to go for the oil uh, loading facility there, I can do a lot of terraforming and then make a bay here. But I don't like that idea. But uh, using what we have at the moment, that seems more reasonable. Uh, let's go one more time. Let's see if I can find a good area to place it as it is. You can see that we're not getting anything green here. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit more flat earth. Flatter. That's fine. Look, this is a, this is um, not really end game, but this is something that uh, is potentially going to take a while for us to construct. So uh, I, I will build a free uh, construction office, get an uh, excavator and the bulldozer there, and then I'm going to prepare the terrain. But yeah, what do you think about the idea? 
uh, bridge is not only going to be connecting uh, oil field, this is going to be some kind of a uh, <sighs> shortcut maybe. I'm not even sure if it's a shortcut because it's going from here uh, to, to the NATO border, but Piedinsk would be a main... Um, yeah, th this this is good to, to have an overview of what you are doing here. Varstok was supposed to be uh, where I was thinking about the oil refinery uh, business. I mean, uh, oil refinery across the river, like here. To produce our own oil, um, like a bit bitumen and uh, and the fuel, uh, but of course majority would be exported as a crude oil from this oil field here. And then now I'm looking at Piedinsk. You know what? Maybe I should just uh, build Varstok first, uh, and then but by, the, by that time we're gonna see what the next steps would be. At the same time, I really need to not invest in new work, new jobs, because 355, yes, 355 workers are not working, that's 6%. Six, six I really would like to see factories working a little bit harder, because I'm really not happy with this. It says that we have unemployed workers, these are delivering. Sometimes these buses coming here are be coming back with people on board so it's not like they always have um, uh, full employment so uh, oh, research done now we're gonna check this out but uh, where are they then like for example this one has nobody left on board so they are all working what about these guys here maybe these guys are returning only three workers here what about you not really Let's see the... Do we have a next one here? No, only three workers returning from here. So I don't know where the workers are returning from. What the hell? Is, is this one still broken? Ooh, 100% coal distribution. Yeah, the, that guy, when he returns, if he's not repairable, he's gonna have icon on top of him um, more often. So let, let him just go back and that, that should be fine. Okay, let's address the issues. Uh, the messages, we have uh, medical university finished the helicopter thingy. Increase, decrease birth rate. I'm not gonna play with that right now. Whoa, I think we're getting a lot of vitamins. Let's go endurance education. There we go. Go with that. It's the cheapest one we have. And yeah, we have uh, people living with their parents, that means we need way more apartments. Luckily, we are already constructing some of them. Uh, hotel being constructed here, let's get this road finished with. Bus 2 can assist with this one. Last chance to buy, go away. Research program finished. Whoa, research program already finished. Let me see the... Uh, of course, bitumen would probably be the next uh, one to research, but let's, let's be on the safe side here. Let's see what what we have <clears throat> crude oil research wise i'm not gonna go at the moment i'm not gonna go for the um connection with western countries for the oil exports directly i'm gonna go do with the boats i think that's more fun no no it's bitumen we need to go for bitumen so and after that uh, refining is gonna be unlocked Okay, uh, what about you guys? You guys are having your waste filled ever so slowly, so that means we don't have access to waste over here. Let me see if I can build you a small... Uh, that's not ideal. Uh, a bit better, a bit better. So, is this Feng Shui? I wouldn't be able to live in myself if I build it like that. Okay, let's do it like this. Like this, and then this one. Let's see if this is gonna be enough. Uh, I need to be notified when this is done, so we can assign the containers. And that's about it. This is where we're gonna be buying our ships, but again, this is a big project. Uh, it's only 39 tons of steel and a lot of concrete, but that's for a later date. Uh, do we start graveling the hell up around here? Yeah, we need to because we're not producing any gravel. There's no gravel requirement for anything. Um, thing, thing, sink, sink, sink. Let's do this. Uh, what the hell? The hell is this? Robs, what the hell were you doing here? I just assign this so we're on the safe side and uh, yeah let, let's then operate this one 
from here further because we will have expansion in this direction. There we go, eight and a half thousand people. Happiness is 79%. Finally, we're getting back on track. So there you go. I'm going to leave it here and ask you guys what you think about the ideas. What do you think about what we decided to go for here? What the hell are you? 95% damaged. Ambulance. Oh, by the way, I did buy a couple of more ambulance trucks because I think we had one ambulance no-show, which wasn't cool. But as you can see overall, I think we're, uh, we're doing way, way, way better than before. Anyway, what do you think about the plan? Comment section. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it. Comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, I have a description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.